Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Nate Boyer. Welcome. I'm sure you're all eager to hear about the journey ahead. But before I get to that, let me tell you a bit about myself. I served in the Army as a Green Beret and also was very fortunate to play football in the NFL. Wow. From the battlefield to the ball field, I've seen people come together from all walks of life and accomplish the seemingly impossible. But I've also seen teams turn on one another and fail. The question is, what kind of team are you going to be? So what happens when those nine strangers set sail for 21 days at sea? We're going to find out when we see the nine episode social experiment survive the raft. So joining us is former NFL player and Green Beret, Nate Boyer, who has also hosted the show, as you just saw. Thanks so much for talking with us. Oh, of course. No, thanks for having me. Yeah. So this looks very interesting and there's a lot at stake here. So tell us about the show and the contestants and how this is all going to work. Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, it's it's based on uh, an actual social experiment from 50 years ago uh, that was conducted. This anthropologist named Santiago Genovese, he put 10 people on a raft and they floated from the Canary Islands in Spain to Mexico, 101 days across the Atlantic. Now, we didn't have 101 days uh, and we were in the Pacific instead of the Atlantic, but we recreated this raft um, and had these people live on this thing and be forced to work together. You know, they're all from various walks of life, backgrounds, religion, politics, race, all of it. Um, and they've got to put all that stuff aside and work together towards a common goal, just like they did in the original experiment 50 years ago. You know, of course, in those circumstances, when you're in those close quarters, even if you have everything in common with the people you're living with, things are gonna come up. It's gonna get frustrating, it's gonna get hard, it's gonna be challenging. Um, but imagine doing that with people that you have maybe nothing in common with and you're forced to learn about them, live with them and sort of put your differences aside in order to survive and advance. And that's really what the show is all about. So, you know, we're living in a time where often people aren't willing uh, to listen to one another that have, you know, a kind of a different perspective. And this is an opportunity uh, to experience that uh, as an audience and, and see, you know, what would happen if I was put in this situation and I had to, you know, to live, to live on this boat with these people side by side and then conduct these challenges, you know, throughout this 21 day uh, experiment, it's, it's very unique. It's very special. And, you know, I'm very lucky to be a part of it. Gosh, it's hard enough to try to decide where you're going to dinner with your spouse sometimes on a weekend, let alone have to go with strangers and figure out how to survive on a boat. I'm sure it's challenging. I'm sure it was interesting to watch the challenges that they faced with each other. Uh, very interesting. And you know, you know, that's a great point you make. As the stakes are raised in life generally, um, you know, I think we're more willing uh, to, to, to put stuff aside, to put our differences aside. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't make it any easier. You know, and and that's what that's what we get to see here. These true colors come out, um, but also we get to watch people grow and change and realize maybe, you know, maybe my um, preconceived notions uh, and, and, and maybe even though I feel so strongly about this thing and I'm so sure that I'm right, you know, maybe that's not maybe that's not uh, the only way. And maybe I'm not right. You know, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. OK, what's at stake here? Was there a winner? What do they win? Well, there's money at stake. There's money at stake. But I think more than that, I think as you see, as this goes on, of course, they're they're out there. And I think a lot of them initially like, hey, I'm going to go home. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this cash home with me and I, it's going to change my life. Right. But then you see other how their lives change in other ways, you know, through the experience itself and through what they had to kind of give up, you know, and what they had to put put aside to to move forward and to and to to, to literally survive i mean or, or figuratively survive i guess in some ways um that's that's what i think they all actually end up getting out of it because yeah. that's what i got out of it you know and uh and, and so yes there's money at stake um and and that's sort of i mean that's obviously enticing and that can, you can do a lot with that um but what's more at stake is uh you know your your, your experience and I think uh, you're th this opportunity to grow and change and, you know, to be a part of making the world a better place uh, when you leave the raft and, and realize like, hey, I came here as this person and now I'm leaving as that person. And that's that's pretty cool. That's very special. We can all take a little bit of that from this show for sure. Be sure to check it out July 30th at 9 p.m. on Discovery Channel. Nate, thanks so much for joining us. Of course. No, thanks for having me.